Hey, what's up guys, Rajat here from World of VFX. In this today's video, we'll talk about the newly launched Unreal Engine 5.6 beta version MetaHuman, which you can see right now in front of your screen. And this looks pretty amazing. But make sure, as I mentioned, this is a beta version. So whenever you work on this file, this can be crashed. So make sure you have to save the file because this is not still released in a final version yet. All right then, let's start this today's tutorial. <laughs> All right, so first of all, this is Unreal Engine 5.6. And if you notice, there are a few changes in the interface as well, but I am not come on this. If you want that, what are the new changes they had in this 5.6, make sure comment so that I can create a detailed video on this. So first of all, I'm just going to file a new level and I'm just creating a basic one because this is very light weighted level. Uh, there is nothing. And now we need to turn on few plugins. So go to this plugin section and you need to type here, M-E-T-A, A-Q-M-A. And so once you have this, you need to turn on all this MetaHuman, like MetaHuman Animator, Calibration, Cortex, Creator, Live Link, SDK, and Runtime. Now, why I'm turning this on all? Because in this today's video, I'm just showing you what are these new updates. And in the next video, I'll talk about how you can connect this with your mobile phone so that you can control the Face Link app or you can call it Live Link app with this. So once you turn on all the things, you can see the pop up over here called restart Unreal Engine. So just restart it. And once you restart, simply right click, you can find this new option called MetaHuman and you can find these are the new options. So here I'm just taking this MetaHuman character and I'm just rename this to one and just simply press OK and then double click. So once you double click and open it for the very first time, you have something like this. This is a default body type mesh, which you can see. And as I mentioned earlier, this is a beta version. So once you rotate this, you can see some glitch in this areas. So this will fix on the final version. And again, I'm telling you, make sure you have to save the files every time. So if you notice, you can find out this pop-up called animation preview required a rig to play, create a rig to enable it. So what this means like, you can't play right now because this model don't have any proper character rigs to play. So you need to do some character rigging, but I'll come that later. So now we are going in depth of this video where you are going to exactly recreate or deform the models to create a new body type. Okay, so first of all, you have this many options. This is called library. What is exactly it is? I have already created this one. So this is called a library. So you can use this character as well to blend with this new one. So I'm not going in this. I'm just going to this body. So this basically used for the body type. So here you can find this confirm model. So once you click this model, this is basically the parameters where you exactly change the body type of this model. So once you decrease it, it start getting some male kind of body type. And once you increase, it will become some a female kind of a body type. So based on that, you can really do that. So here I'm just making it a little female kind of. Okay, so this is the body. Okay, now automatically the face got changed as well. If you notice also this face will also blend with the female style. Then the muscularity, as you notice that we females have a very little amount of body muscle mass. So I'm just making it a little higher than the fat percentage. So the fat is basically on the hip and this backside area as well. So I'm just decreased fat a little bit. And this is called height. Now in females, this is 152, like 5.1 inch or true. So I'm just increase the height to let's say a uh, little higher like 165 this looks pretty pretty good okay so now this is upper torso so across the shoulder area you can actually make some changes which can get the very good amount of body type so this is it and then called frontal area so this also helps you to create a really good uh, female character then the breast part if you want to increase it decrease it so i'm just making it a little down and uh, breast pan also you can do this like spread area as well and uh, under breast so just leave it a little down and neck to waist so this is called the neck positions i hope you guys are understand and once you change anything these lines are started adding so that it feels like which area you are exactly edited okay got it all right so now let's uh, jump into the lower torso where you can exactly control the body fat type and the waist part as well so I'm just decreasing the waist part to make this female little athletic kind of a thing. So I'm just decrease it. So now if you notice, this female looks pretty fit as well. Also, I just decrease the hip area as well because this looks pretty, pretty sexy. 
okay and the rise also a uh, little up okay cool this down and now this is called neck area so if you want to little thinner just make it like this neck base slide up and now this are the controls for the arm so if you want to increase the arm size you can do this i'm just leaving everything uh, by default just decreasing the bicep side slightly and the elbows slightly that's it and now comes to the leg area so if you increase the leg size so just leave it like this thighs should down slightly so as you can see this character already start looking a little bit of a really good fit lady okay so now this is called option called blend so what exactly it is once you click this you have already one meta human pre made once you have multiple uh, characters already pre made you can exactly blend between all these characters so i don't have currently so if i have i can pick this characters in a three and then i can blend it so now let's jump into the head area so once you click directly it will snap to the head area now if you click this blend as well same for the face area as well you can blend for only the face and then you can confirm this also you can import from the template which you can use it from fab now coming to the model area this is called the teeth okay so if you want you can exactly customize this teeth as well so if i'll just decrease or increase and this is called the teeth variations i can also move the teeth in a different directions also the upper teeth lower teeth directions as well so okay then eyelashes part so this area is basically for this eyelashes so if you want you can pick anything right from here so i'm just uh, picking this one and then i'm going to the sculpting mode this is the very very important part this can create the entire face for this character yes guys so what i'll do i'll just uh, do some basic changes so i want to create this uh, smiley face character so i'm just making little smile so if you notice this is called a blend shape so in blend shape you can modify the character face in any shape and the face start looking on that so the eyes should little smaller because there's a lady character the eyes should little smaller like this let's down the eyebrows slightly like this and a little smiley face so this face should here all right so the face looking pretty good as of now and also you can modify this in a different way it's all up to you now changing to the material part this will gives you the skin texture for this character so once you click the skin the start added this skin texture if you notice the textures are absolutely premium but if you are using 8k resolution texture make sure your gpu need to support that so here you can add some face uh, you know marks as well which uh, will helps you to understand the face but here i'm just decreasing the face marker density to pretty down so something like this this is okay and now what you can do you can exactly change the skin color as well so here i'm just want this character to little whitish or little okay like this now you can actually control each and every part of this face so if you just select this area you can actually do some color grading on specific this area now this is a lady right so on this area i'm just increasing the face size so that this will create some reddish tint right over here you can increase the saturations too so this looks pretty good also this area as well i'm just increasing it so that this highlights will give this little ladiness okay and now this is perfect for the skin now for the eyes you can have all this eye setup so just double click and the eyes exactly change this is the previous one this is the current one also you can change the eyes colors to anything you want so after that you can use the saturation details everything you can control right from here this is called pupil you can increase or decrease the pupil size this corona size okay if you want a big eyes small eyes you can exactly control it right from here all right so this is basically for the both side if you want a single single eyes you can do that as well cool now the makeup once you come to the makeup part this is also a pretty interesting part so just double click you can see it start adding some makeup and also this character started looking like a female double click here as well see this makeup looks good and now you can change the color too so if i'll increase the color in a different like uh, yellow oh, wow it's, she is looking really nice now increase or decrease the roughness transparency and different different things also simply select this to get some reddish tint in the face area now i'm just coming to the lips part so just simply select this so it will create a lips so let's change the lips color to little reddish 
okay so i think i am not expert in the makeup but uh, comment down that uh, what i'm doing right or wrong if i'm wrong sorry for that no females should hurt <laughs> i'm just trying my level best all right so in after that if you want to apply the foundation simply turn this on this will add the foundation but i don't know this looks good or not so i'm just leaving it like that only now the hair and the clothing part simply select the hair part selection to this one and now once you select you have lots of hairs turned on okay and by the way you need to save it only this one is available as i can see in my system only this one is available the rest of the female characters head hair details are not working same for others as well like if you have the eyebrows yes eyebrows are working for this but uh, no other eyebrows are working because this is again a beta version so yeah in this way you can create the character now let's come to the main part how you can rig this character how this character will work but before that we have few things right over here so first of all let's rig the character so simply click here now we have two options auto rig joints only and with the blend shapes so if you click this one this will be added as a blend shape so just simply click this and it will start rigging it will take some time and once you come i'll get back to you so the rig is done and it takes around five to six minutes and now once you play here you can see the character is started some animations as well the eye blinks the head movement the body movement everything looks pretty premium so what exactly they have in this part so you have this animation sequence animation live link this live link for to connect your mobile with this unreal engine so that you can control everything for your mobile now this is called a face animation so if you have a, a specific face animation you can do that like uh, let's uh, use this anger pose so this character started in an anger pose so once you play the face expressions always in an anger mode so if you change it to anger a anger b there's a multiple uh, like face expressions surprises so in my case surprise like every time people can surprise like this so you need to blend the surprise is more to different different modes and then the happy pose this looks exactly good so once you play this is a happy pose and uh, last this idle one is a normal one okay so you have something like this also for the same as well in the body part as well if you have multiple body style so you can do that so after that once you're happy with this scene you can simply create this combined the skeleton mesh so that you can use it in unreal engine file but but before that i'm just showing you a few options over here so this is called the skin topology skin clay so if you click this this is the clay model of this character this is the topology which you used and this is the final output so we have multiple studio light setup but don't click this one it will crash the unreal engine but uh, i love this light setup and uh, you can rotate the light setup as well based on your shot so change it as per your convenience also we have multiple others as well this one also this this but don't click this one okay so once you happy with your light setup you can simply use it so yeah that's it for today i hope you really understand how to use this newly launched unreal engine meta human 5.6 if yes then definitely subscribe to our channel make sure hit the bell icon to get the notifications see you in my next video till then keep watching keep rocking world of vfx